Come on in. Right. Say hello to our viewers. Hello. Hello. Right. So this is our start of our new guitar build. Yeah. For 2022. So we are going to make a carved top guitar, something like a Paul Reed Smith. Yeah. So this is 20 mil thick clay maple. Um, what we're going to do this today is shove it through the thickness sander. Yeah. Just to uh, clean it up a little bit. And, and we then, don't want it to be dirty because it'll be bad. Then we're going to clamp it up and glue yeah. it up overnight. Okay, like this. And uh, it's a bit late in the day because you've only just in school, don't you? Yeah. Right, so. I just went to school. Yeah, so and anyway. Just Without further ado, yeah. we're going to crack on. Yeah. Okay, let's get on the machine. Okay, the last one now then. Yeah. Right. Now, next thing. Whew. Is that hard work? Yeah. It would make my hands tired. <laughs> so all you're doing is scratch the surface, right? Yeah. Right. Can I do it to the next one? Yeah, you can do it. Right? Don't do it. Don't do that. Just little, little ticks all the way along. All the way along. Ready? Yeah. Right now I got a nip in the house in there. Okay. You hold it there and you put it you brush it off. Clamps to do the book match. Two on the bottom, two on the top. It equals out the pressure, allegedly. It stops it capping. This so, my little buddy have just disappeared to go and have his dinner. Because in fairness to him, he came into the workshop straight from school. He went, he went in, got his MIT guitars, body warming on, and so he hadn't had no food. So, anyway, I'm just pleased that he likes working with me in the workshop. Right. Next thing now, take these up, the clamps out in the morning, I'm gonna shove it through my thickness of sand it again. I put, I won't I won't video that. Uh, to flatten the top and the bottom off. Then I'm gonna machine the mahogany back. This is gonna have a carved top and I'm gonna try and endeavor to do a fake binding all the way around it. It's not something I've I've done very often. It's time consuming. 
it's going to be pretty sharp with the chisel, pardon the pen. Um, but anyway, this is the first day of our new build for 2022. But anyway, thank you very much and I'll catch you soon. Bye. Okay, so that's the top just about finished now. I've sanded this through my thickness of sander. It's a Jet 1632 Plus. It's the only really luxury tool I have. It's 19 years old, the one I got. They still make the model, they make a bigger one and a smaller one. I think at the time I paid about £600 for it. Oh, it's been bulletproof. And from the distance across the board, that's 14 inches. I probably I can probably get a 15 inch board in there, flattened off. And they say in the spec that it's 10 thou tolerance on it. I've never I've never had to set it up. I put it together when I add it. And that's this is how it's been. It is perfect. The Just make this a minute now. See what I'm left with. So I'm left with about 18 mil. That's about as minimum as I can go to. If you want a 20 mil top, you really need to buy a piece about 24, 25 mil. Anyway, back to the sander. The sander disc can be expensive. This is. This has been sanding out to a degrid, just for me to get it nice and flat. So I can glue this now to the mahogany back, see how it, go, how it goes. But it's not going to be a deep carve. It'll be, it'll be okay, like, you know. I'll leave a 6mm binding if I can, possibly 5mm. And that'll be it. I know my, the films that I've done in the past, they've been silent. And I've had a couple of people saying that uh, they like to have a little bit more content on it. But I, to be honest though, I particularly like doing it that they're silent and you can just sit and just watch what I'm doing. But you can let me know this in, this in a comment because I'll either go back. I'll do this now and give you some sort of idea of what I'm doing. But if you let me know in a comment and you want them to be silent as they were before, um, that's what I'll do. The only thing I'll probably keep live, like twice, is when I got Oliver with me. Because that's what it's all about. It's, it's, I'm doing all this for them. Just to have a record of me working with them. So, next job, the mahogany back. And I'll see you in a bit now. These have gone through the back through the sander now to take some tooling marks off what my planer to leave. For some reason or other, my planer always feathers out a little bit on the end. It have always done it, but it's it's not great shakes because I've got that machine. These are finishing off at around about 29 mil. The maple caps uh, 17 and a half mils thereabouts, maybe again on close to 18. 
it's, I'm looking, the one I've put it all together, I'm looking to give me about 46 mil. With that, I can decide if I'm going to go for a hard tail, stop the tail piece, I can go a little bit thinner than that. Not very much, maybe a little bit. But I have in the past gone too low behind that and it affects me from the trim on. In my little book of wonders, it says in there that I really need 46 mil. I could probably go a little bit less. But anyway, I need 46 mil on it just to give me a bit of uh, material to work with. Um, so all I've got left to do now is to do the bookmark joint, clamp them up. I've shoved it through with my joiner as you've seen, but my joiner, it never bows, it always concaves. So when these two go together, when you hold it up to the light, you can see a little bit of light coming through here, but it is really, really small amount, it's a couple of thou. But being like I am, I want, I want to close that up as tight as I can. So I'll just do it with a sanding block. In the past I've done it with a hand plane, it's, it takes too much off. Can't see the point with that. I'm a big fan of satin blocks. I, I could, I got a drawer full of them. There must be 80, 70, or 80 of them in there, which I'll show you again because that's another thing that uh, you don't see many people using, use showing using them so much. The round ones, I, the round ones I made, they're amazing, they're great for carbon and X. So anyway, that's enough for me today now because I got other work to do as well. There's this YouTube thing you on. I teach music as well, so. I'll be cracking on with that. And I come back in the morning now and I feel film, sanding it up, clamping it up. There's going to be very little talking, it's just you'll see what I do and that's it. And then it. Anyway, I shall see you in a little while. Sam. Yeah. Okay. What are we looking at? Do you want to then? Look at the fence with the edge. Oh, right, we've got to draw a line now. How am I doing? I love Set the light. So, see the guitar? We gotta line this up now with the center line here. Right. Did you come back? Come on then. We gotta draw around it now. So like like before, up in the air like that. Right? I'll do this side. Uh, and I'll do and I'll do my side. Yeah, right. Yeah, you take over now. The other hand in there, you right hand it. Right. Oh, what's that? Oof. 
It doesn't matter. So yeah, double, double check it. Come on. Yeah. Choose off the leg. Get it off left. Get it drawing off. Now. Cool. Look at that. Right, we're going to drill a couple of holes in this thing. I just want to do a one when you hold it in. Just oh, we can't do it with that, lad. Let's have a look at this now. Okay. Hold the bell. Oh, dumbbell. dumbbell. <laughs> Not arm bell. <laughs> yeah. Little tap. Okay. Oh, oh, what do you want? And again, come on. That's it. That was three times, that was. Oh. Come on, just twice, right? Oh, twice. That was four. <laughs> right. I'm doing that so you can see how the What's that called? What? What's it called? Um, scratch, yeah. No, we do use it for scratching, yes I know. It's called the side punch. Hold the drills there. Come on everybody. Don't hit the drill. Bye, Okay, you ready now? Oliver! Come on! Freezing, it is freezing, you're right. Right, that's it then. Okay. Nice to see you, buddy. Do you want to move that in a bit? Hiya. Hiya, so there you go. Right, it's now out. Hey, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good day. Now, do you know what we're doing? No. Nope. Right. We're going to glue this maple top on top of you. What? Right? Yeah, that's that's right. Can I do the other bit, the other side? Right. Just draw like a little kiss for this, so we know what side we are. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. You ready? Right there, right now. Yeah, I'll tell them now what to do it. Yeah. Go on in. Now? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Just move that to one side. No, the next one. Ready? Oh, don't get any close. 
freaking hell. You need to make the go for my crows yet. Oh, no, don't do that. Your mum will kill me. Right. It's difficult for me to explain this to you. Um, from the earlier videos, I'm clamping all this together. We had to stop filming because we had a trouble gluing the board up. Um, I didn't. I didn't notice it to be honest with you. I knew what side I wanted to be the top of the flame top, but. <coughs> The person that I had this flame maple cap off, I've had maple tops off them in the past, and it just don't cut it. It's, it's um, the price is right, but the quality of how they supply the is poor. Not like Touchstone Tone Woods, who I always deal with. It's just that I was offered this piece of maple. Um, when they machine it, their blades on their uh, machine feathers away or to the one side. And two pieces of adder I found out being exactly the same and I've questioned it. So if you have a 20mm a top, by the time you sand it up, joint it up, you're going to lose a few mil. But with this I could be losing as much as 4 mil. And this was going to be the other side. But if you look by here, there's there's a gap right on the end. But I didn't notice that little gap until I was due to glue the top on. So I had to stop what I was doing, clean all the glue off. Absolute nightmare. Terrible, terrible. I thought I was going to scrap it to be honest. So <clears throat> I'd already put the glue on the mahogany. So anyway, I cleaned it all off, shoved it through my sander. And I'm back to where I was hoping to be. <clears throat> Except template. The way I've I'll just miss this little bit of taper that's gonna be coming on here. It's on this end. It's not on this end, it's only on this side. It's a small fall off. Just not great quality nor that I'm used to dealing with anyway. So this is the template for the carved top. This bit bare is the bottom of Les Paul and this bit bare is the top of Strat. And I just squeezed them all together, rejiggled the middle bit, but basically that's what it is. This is a bit of a Strat end and this is a Les Paul. That's what they did. So I've made a couple like this. The last one I made is probably my main guitar. If I'm going to do a gig or whatever, on my lessons, I always use it. So, so the top's all done. It's a matter of <coughs> cutting it out now. Um, I may do the neck choice first, to be honest, because uh, I like doing that. I like uh, getting the neck in place. And I just cut. cut all the wood around the outside that doesn't look like a guitar, get rid of it, and we're for the guitar. So I'm shooting a little while now and we'll crack on with something else, probably the fingerboard. This is the uh, rosewood fingerboard and I do it with a ruler rather than my digital gauge. It's, it's, a, it's a fabulous piece of rosewood from my friend Neil at Touchstone Tone Woods. This is 10 mil thick, it's really good thickness. <coughs> the ends of the, of the wood are dipped in wax, it's got moisture and stuff like that. Before I shut this through my sander, my thickness up, because 
to scrape it off a little bit because the wax will just block the paper and just write it off. That should do it. I'm going to machine this down to about 6mm now. Uh, by the time I read this, I don't probably end up with a fingerboard about 5 or 5mm. Five a little bit, maybe a little bit less. Well, that's okay, it'll, be, it'll give me enough room to put the side dots in. Um, show this from my belt on now. Drop down now. Sand it down to the thickness I want. So I was aiming for like 6mm, but I'm down to 5.8, so that's okay. That's all right. Slot it next now. Get it all lined up and decide what scale is. I haven't decided what scale is. I can do this guitar yet. It's not going to be 24 3 quarters, you know that, huh? It's a bit PRS y. So I may go for a 25. Let's we'll see. So that's my beloved drum sander, which I absolutely love. It's my only really great luxury. Um, it can be a bit expensive to run if you clog your abrasives up because they're about seven pound a shot. But this is. Um, underneath the paper for it. Got like a cardboard -y sandpaper type back into it. But this is what I've been using lately, so I thought I shared it with you. This is emery cloth. So emery cloth has got a much stronger back in. Aluminium oxide, same as that. We used to use this in the steel industry. The, the, the mechanical engineers used to use it. So what I do which I shall show you. Quite in a big roll. Works out about about twelve pound, I would think. Um, so about in a big roll like that, and then I cut it down to suit. I think it's ninety-two inches long, something like that, uh, with a taper on the end, which I I keep an old one back to, as my as my template. So, out of that roll, I'll probably get about five or six of these. So then they only work out a couple of pounds each, instead of seven pound a shot. But they last for ages. Now this guitar we are building by you now, I normally get through at least two of these. By the time I machine the top down, machine the, the mahogany and the neck and the fingerboard, because they always come in well oversized. Um, but with this emery cloth, I only use one paper to do the old job. It's all been sanded out to, to 120, so I do everything else by hand now. But it's, it's great value, it's a fabulous machine. So treat yourself and get a, yourself a drum sander. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to cut the slots in the, in the fingerboard. You've, yeah. you've done that before now, so you, you, you know how to do it. But the scale length of the guitar is going to be 25. I'm cold, so I need to get rid of this. Okay, so let's get ready now. That's Yeah, but you watch now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, to we're going to put this now yeah. on you. I want to do that. Right, well if you're going to do it, <coughs> put it that way and I'm going to come around the back. Okay, so it's got a gear. Ready? Mm -hmm. Well, no, no. I'm pushing you down where it will stick. Rub him, rub him hard. All right. <coughs> I think we need to do this to see if it, if it can stay on, yes? Yeah, yeah it stays on, it's all right. Stays on. So, we're going to put this now in this little jig, like that. So we're going to cut these slots now, okay? okay? I'll do the first one and then you can... Do the second one. And you one. can do the second one. So we're 
so I'll cut the first one and that is it this is that oh. well I haven't cut right through the woods here we've just cut enough to mark it oh. <coughs> boy lads good boy hello dear So look, have a look at it. Give it a blow. Next one. a bit more because that one's a bit darker. That one is? Yeah, we did cut Oh, I can see what I mean. Well done. Ready? Oh, that's him. That's a, that's a is that okay? Yeah. Alright. <coughs> Not too hard now. Right, on the other end. From there. Go from there and pull it all the way along. And again. Nice job. Ready? I'm ready. No. Stand back a little bit now. I can do it on my own. You can do it on your own. Just take your time now. See, I'm doing a bit. Yeah, you are doing it, yeah. Right, but all the way along, like that. Right. right. We're getting a little pro. That might be enough. What do it look like? Good. But oh, but the bit, these ones right here are too far away, and these ones right here are, are closer. Closer. Well, they do. That's 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 to do with the scale length of the guitar, that is. Oh, it? I thought that I thought we did it a bit wrong. Yet. No, no, no. So good... it another day. No, that's no. That's a good point. They they get narrower as they go along. Together. Yeah, they get closer and closer together. That's correct. Right, so I'll count them. I think we've done them all now, right? Two, no, don't count that one. That's that's the first one there. Right? One, two, three, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Twenty-one, twenty-one, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-four, and sixteen. Twenty-four. So when you get a twenty, you go back to eleven. You do. Should we count them now? Yeah. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, ten eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 24. Okay. Oh. I've done it all by myself. You did? We've done it a bit too wrong. Okay, a bit. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay.
there's a body roughly cut out. Um, I'm struggling a little bit then with that bandsaw. Uh, it's a little bit wide that one was for the curves. I put it in a while back to cut some necks, one for this, cut the, the, the angle on the top of the headstock. Um, normally you tend to use a, a blade that's a little bit narrower, but as most people know, we've got a bandsaw. Once you've cut curves, that blade ain't no good for no straight cuts. Bandsaw's not the best for straight cuts anyway, but um, for a headstock and things like that, of course, they're perfect. Um, so that blade had been in there a little while, and I purposely left it in there to finish it off, to rough the body out. So the, the cap had gone on well. Nicely joined up all the way around. There's no gaps in there or nothing like that. It's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do next now, I will route the shape out, which I don't normally do to be honest with you. I always do the neck joint first. But um, I try to do things a little bit different all the time. So I'm going to, the template. I'll route all that out and smooth it out. Then I'll cut the neck to size, then I'll cut the neck joint. Then I'll carry on with the fingerboard then and go from there. Alright, I'll see you in a little while. Mm -hmm.